Hi, in this video we're going to introduce you to the new feature which is uh, auto culling feature. It will cull the roads, the traffic lights and the vehicles to a certain distance away from the camera if you just set up a few little parameters. So let's get started. Traffic system and pedestrian system which is part of the package now allow you to add a main game camera. Uh, it can be any camera you like. Obviously if you're changing cameras throughout the game you can keep switching this up. And then under the traffic system script you can see there's a distance to cull roads and a distance to cull traffic. And this is how far away from that main camera each road is before it starts to get culled. So you can enter whatever you want in here. And pedestrian system also has the same where you'll give it the game camera and you'll also tell it how far to cull away from the camera. So let's have a quick look and demonstration. We press play. And right now it's 400 meters, so most of the stuff's uh, showing up. We click on our traffic system and let's start to cull the roads from 100 meters away. So as you can see there, uh, things start to pop in and out as they get uh, further away from the camera and closer to the camera. So that's your roads, uh, your traffic as well, you can change to 100 and then you can see your pedestrians are in the background there. So if we go to that system, type in 100 and if we find a car that's close enough, you can see that as we start to zoom in and out, those also get culled. So hopefully that's going to help with performance. I know people, have, a lot of people have requested this feature. Uh, it's now in play. If you don't want uh, the culling system to work, you can simply remove the game camera and it won't uh, use the auto cull feature. Now to set up your uh, to set up your roads, if you've done custom roads, all the actual built-in ones are set up now already, but if you've done custom roads, custom vehicles, and custom traffic lights, uh, there's not much you need to change. The roads themselves, the traffic lights and the vehicles now have this property under each of their scripts called mesh object. All you need to do is add the uh, main root renderer for all the meshes into that and it'll just turn that off so that anything underneath it, including itself, will get switched uh, on and off as it needs to. So if we just take a look at some of the prefabs, uh, road pieces and uh, our roads find a, automatically finds the mesh object auto find on awake. This is hard coded to find uh, the child called models and then under the models game object sits all the uh, rendering or meshes. Uh, so that's, that's one of the ones you can use there. Uh, under models you can see this road here, all the meshes sit under there. It just goes through and it finds that particular one and uses it. So that's uh, the roads. All you need to do is put it, uh, put your root game object in there that holds all the meshes. For traffic lights, uh, it does the same thing. Uh, where are we? It's the intersection. Traffic lights. So under each light itself, they have an object which then holds all the game objects or the game uh, meshes or renderers. Uh, this particular one has the object assigned to it, so it knows what to turn off. So again, if we go into traffic lights, you can see the main script, sorry, the main script on a traffic light. Under there, uh, we'll have, under this one, we'll have the uh, object child, which it's put into there. So you can manually do this. Uh, it's probably the easiest way, is to just assign that parent object with all its, its meshes underneath it. Uh, again, the vehicle does it the same way. Uh, it's assigned its mesh object. There it is there. And then under that, it's going to be all the all the renderers itself, the car body, the wheels. So it all sits under that parent object. And then you just assign that parent object to the mesh object uh, parameter there. And it knows what to turn on and off for the culling system. 
So that's uh, the only change you need to do for your objects, meaning your roads, your, your vehicles, and your traffic lights. Uh, if you're using the default ones or you've set it up like we have, um, you shouldn't have a problem. And another little feature <coughs> is we've added show nodes in as a checkbox because people have been asking how to turn them off. It is in the script. You can turn it off in the script quite easily and it only shows for debug. Uh, when you release your product, you won't have the nodes showing, but you can now turn them on and off just within the the actual script itself. And Pedestrians has this as well. Show nodes. And you can turn them off again. So that's, uh, that's the feature, the auto call feature. Again, apply your game camera to the traffic system or pedestrian system and then tweak it to however many meters away from the camera you want these objects to start culling for. And as you can see, the pedestrians are on a separate system. So you just need to tweak both of those and hopefully you'll see your performance increase. Uh, please let us know how you get on. We'd really like to hear if the, this has helped you, especially on mobile. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, grab the next update which is 2.1.3 which will have your auto culling feature. Thank you.